Hey everybody here from the Cool Guys Nation and welcome to the next episode of Adepticon Terrain Board. Today we're going to be doing our base painting and we're going to be adding some details with the airbrush. And the supplies that we have today are two liters of white and black acrylic paint, an airbrush, airbrush paint, airbrush medium, then we have a large container for our airbrush nozzle, we have dust masks for the airbrush fumes, paintbrush, some mixing sticks, and some cups to mix paint. What we're going to do is we're going to lay down a base of gray, pretty simple, using the brush, and then we're going to lay down a pattern over that, which we will then go back and destroy when we add rubble and cut out more styrofoam. Ah, there's one more thing. <clears throat> we have a patterned air duct grate. Now this one has um, these nice little clover patterns are about a half inch by half inch. We're going to be laying this down um, over our base coat of gray, and then we're just going to airbrush a nice pattern across our entire board. Once we get done with that and the paint is dried, we're going to go back to sculpting and starting to make the terrain board look more like a ruined city. So, let's get started. First thing that we're going to do, shake up our paint. And then we're going to make ourselves a nice dark gray, which we will just mix up in this cup. Pretty simple, black and white. <clears throat> Makes gray. Okay, now using a GW scenery brush, we're just going to go and paint our scenery. Pretty simple, just going to cover the whole thing with gray paint. Here we go. It's gray. Easy peasy, one, two, three, easy. It'll dry nice. Oh, there's a little bit of paint there. Okay, let it dry, and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna airbrush our pattern onto the gray. Okay, so we are using miniature gray with airbrush medium, and we're just gonna slowly go over this and put our pattern down. We've exhausted our first pot, and we're going to mix up some more paint, and then keep going. We're just going to let that dry for a minute, and uh, then we'll take a look at uh, how it looks, and we'll move on to the next step. Oh yeah, baby, that's looking great. It's a little bit blurry up here. I didn't have enough pressure on it, but it's really crisp. I just have to make sure I keep that really nice... Uh, pressure. We're just going to line up the pattern. We're going to keep moving this way and then we can go back and we can add washes and we can dirty it up and we can scratch it up. Okay, so it's looking really nice. <clears throat> Next thing I need to do is cut my pattern out so that I can finish up on this section, but I'm going to do that last. I have two more boards to paint. I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera, and then we will come back to cutting out our pattern so that we can finish off the board. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lay my pattern down, and I'm going to mark my first edge. 
right there. And I'm going to come to, let's see, right about here. And I'm going to mark my corner, which is right there. And I'm going to mark this corner. And then we're going to take that back here. Um, then I also need enough area. So I'm going to mark here and here. And I'm going to cut this out. Ah, wonderful. All right, folks. Well, that's it for this episode. Next episode is going to be a lot of fun because we are going to finish up the project next episode. I'm really excited. It's looking really good. I'm happy how uh, this came out. I did make a couple mistakes, but they are going to be fixable. This is not meant to be a pristine new city. This is a ruined, destroyed city and we're gonna use this pattern to our advantage. So until next time, this has been Aaron from the Cool Guys Nation, and I'll see you later.